Good morning, everyone. I contacted the breeder for the type of cat I want to get um, two nights ago, and I heard back from her. Uh, the type of cat I'm looking to get is one of those Bengal cats, the exotic ones. Um, I just told her I had a few questions about them. Uh, first being, uh, how much are they? They're exotic cats, so they're not going to be cheap. Um, she has a waiting list for her litters that in order to get on the list, you got to do a $100 deposit, which is no problem. And then the actual litter, the kittens, are 950 bucks, which really is not too bad for the, this type of cat. Um, unfortunately, when I get put on the list, there's eight people ahead of me, and right now she's expecting a new litter um, within the next few months or so. Then they have to grow up and get their shots and all that. Uh, she did tell me that they come with um, their first shots. They come microchipped. They come fifth generation pedigree. And I don't know if you all know, but... <coughs> oh, excuse me. The Bengal cats come from the Asian snow leopard. So it's fifth generation removed from there leopard parents and um, um, they also come registered with the TICA and ACLA or something like that I have to look at the email again so it's definitely worth it they I'm really excited to get it I've been preparing for a while and it's been a cat I've wanted for years. Now it's just time to make it happen. I'm doing errand number two now. Um, I don't know if it's a bad omen, but my mileage was at 49666. But uh, I'm getting the oil change now. It's always a good thing to get the oil changed. I usually do it about every six months. I'm so glad I got that out of the way before next weekend when I go out of town. That was one of my goals for this weekend and actually my only goal for this weekend. So uh, it's good to get that done. I love how these places, I always go to Jiffy Lube. It's uh, $18.99 for an oil change. But after you factor in tax and labor and um, the oil, how, the amount of oil they have to put in, uh, it ended up being like $44 or something. So still not bad. <clears throat> and I was, once they got my car in, I was in and out in like 15 minutes. But uh, yeah, one of the things I love how these places always try to get you to change out the air filters the cabin filter and the air filter every time you get the oil changed and little known fact you don't have to change it every single time I mean I changed it on my last one um, I didn't need to change it this time but they definitely try to push you to um, this particular Jiffy Lube, if I had done that, there's a Bubbles car wash right next door. If you do the air filter with the oil change, you get a free car wash, so I missed out on that, but oh well. That's like, it didn't need the air filter, so. But I'm happy that my car is happy now. It's got fresh oil in it. There's just something about you getting all your bills paid for the month and being able to rest better knowing that all your bills are paid for the month. You got nothing else to worry about. 
when I went to Jiffy Lube, they gave us this free calendar here. Community calendar. So that's pretty cool. I just gotta find a place to put it. All these bills, <clears throat> all these bills here can be erased because they've been paid. It's nice having that um, calendar there. I'm able to put when bills are due and it helps both me and my roommate keep track of it. So that was a good idea. There. Now I can just relax for the rest of the day. Errands are done, bills are paid. There's no football on today, it's all on tomorrow. It's the divisional or the championship games. I'm supposed to be going down to uh, uh, Gaines' house tomorrow for the football game, so Kay's not coming over today. She's in kind of a uh, depressed blah mood, so we decided not to have movie day today. But I uh, don't know what I'm gonna do. Relax. Probably sleep a little too. But, yep. It's gonna be a nice, lazy day. There was that dryer. Uh, I was sitting here playing a video game and uh, made me think about what are the hobbies that y'all are interested in. Mine happens to be classic video games. And, uh, I started collecting several years ago and my collection has grown quite a bit over the past year. but. Uh, Mostly, mostly my collection is uh, the Super NES series. My goal at some point, I would like to have every single game for the Super NES, but I think I have a good collection so far. Got like Turtles 4, Chrono Trigger. Final Fantasy 2 II and 3. I'm a big, um, oh, Castlevania 4. Got like Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, uh, Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong Country 2, but Super Mario World, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, ooh, Pinball Dreams. Anyways, that's my hobby. Like right now I'm playing uh, The Legend of Zelda. Um, that's my hobby. I even have like almost all the Game Pros since Game Pro magazines since uh, August 95 I think. But, uh, yeah, I'm curious to know, what are your hobbies? Comment down below.